All right, uh, this is the demo that we were supposed to give at the Congress. As you may recall, we gave a demo and uh, video was not working. Um, and the reason why it wasn't working is because this slim is very new. I bought it about a month ago and uh, we used 3.15 for the demo. We flashed 3.15 onto it. It turns out that firmware version is too old to support the RSX revision in this slim. It actually came with 3.40 in the factory. So that's why everything looked like it was going to work and then video totally broke, uh, totally broke and screwed up. So I've done the whole thing with 3.41 and I'm going to show you that. But before that, one thing I didn't have a chance to show at the Congress is that the drive on the slim is actually formatted using a standard DOS partition table and Linux file system. There's no uh, custom PS3 stuff going on. So if you plug it into a computer, it actually shows up as regular partitions. So, uh, so this one here is the boot partition with the uh, kernel and a configuration file and that's just uh, useless because this Vestos is actually flashed. This is best itself is just a test thing I have. So it's uh, the kernel and the configuration settings and then this is the root file system for Linux. So you can just edit your uh, Linux install from the PC or whatever and you can use the whole drive. You can't, don't have to dedicate anything to GameOS. So let's plug that into the Slim. And the Slim, as you can see, doesn't have anything plugged into the front. The only things plugged into the back are Ethernet, power, and HDMI. And of course on the side, there's my NOR flasher port that's not plugged into anything. But uh, yes, we, of course we already flashed this Pestos onto this PS3, so there's, uh, it's just standalone. We could uh, install a Pestos from an update file, but for now we're working with the flasher, which is uh, a little bit easier. So, let's turn it on. And in the computer here, I have my uh, Pestos terminal. Loads the kernel. It takes a few seconds to get video. And there we go. That's Gen 2 Linux uh, booting standalone on a PS3 Slim. Uh, just threw a flash this Pestos instead of GameOS. It's running as Pestos. Loads the kernel from the hard drive. And as you can see, it's actually accessing the hard drive. So it's not using net booting or anything. It's actually not touching the network. It's all self contained. And if it finishes booting, I can actually grab a USB keyboard, plug it right into the PS3, the right way around, and just log right in. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, right now it's a uh, we have some issues with make self. This is done using a terrible hack that's not make self. Um, so once we fix make self, we will be able to uh, do it a little bit more sanely. Then we'll work on making this uh, an update file that you can just flash. And at that point, you would only have Linux. You would lose a game of us. And once we have that working, we'll uh, work on a dual boot version where you can boot uh, game OS from asbestos or Linux with some kind of boot menu at the beginning and uh, once that works we'll release it all and uh, let someone else take over because as we said we're not planning on doing long-term PS3 development so we're basically developing all of this so that you know to get it out there and so anyone else can pick it up and do whatever they want with it so see you next time